So this is the very first Disco Lock deck that I came with right after Karazhan Wing 4 was released, right after all of Karazhan was released. Uh, it wasn't very good. It had too many weak cards, and I knew that, but I just wanted to see what would happen if you put in all the cards of this card, and I came to the conclusion, why am I playing this when I can just play Zoo? But what really the solution would be is you don't put the bad discard cards in, like Fist of Jaraxxus and Tiny Knight of Evil, and Succubus. And I had thought, I had suspected as such. You put in more standard cards, like Defender Vargas, like the Councilman, and Direwolf Alpha. And I think actually those are the only changes? No, actually, Power Overwhelming surprisingly takes a hit in this new version of Disco Lock. I'm looking at Zanananananans, Zanananananans, Warlock deck here. Power Overwhelming takes a hit for Knife Juggler. I'm gonna shorthand it to Zanananan. 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 Because of uh, space reasons. I think that the weakest card in this deck is Knife Juggler. Between not having. Forbidden Ritual, not having that much of a theme. So, I want to Mimasaka this deck. The question is, what do you Mimasaka in? Well, I look at Old Zoo. They had Flame Juggler, they had Sea Giant, they had Forbidden Ritual, they had two Argent Squires, they had Power Overwhelming. Missing Power Overwhelming is kind of a big deal. Power Overwhelming is a good card. Yeah, you could just replace Dark Shire Librarian with Knife Juggler. Alright, here's my little Mimasaka here then. I'm gonna cut one of the knife jugglers and add in power overwhelming. One power overwhelming. Since it's possibly a situational card. So, compared to regular zoo, this deck takes out Arjun Squire from Malkazar's Imp. It takes out a knife juggler and a power overwhelming for the two Dark Child Librarians. It adds in the two silverware golems instead of Forbidden Ritual. And it has a lot of discard in both Doom Guard and Soulfire, where usually the versions running Soulfire would only run. Leroy. It doesn't have any zoo fringe cards such as Sea Giant or Crazed Alchemist or Ta or Flame Juggler. It's a lot of discard mechanics for just Silverware Golem, but discarding Silverware Golem is pretty good. Your soul shall be mine. This is much more like the ideal of uh, of the Disco Lock deck. Starting with a hand that looks like Zoo. Why do you fall? Even this version. It leaves you scratching your head sometimes, thinking, is this actually better than Zoo? Things to continue to watch for, really. Mind if I roll need? Hmm, Librarian, Librarian? Nah, Councilman, Servant. Hmm, Librarian, Librarian. Councilman, Servant. Come on. Whoa. The value. I have no time for games. Oh, 
I don't want to discard the Doom Guard as my last card. Hmm. I would be okay discarding Relic Court. I mean, I'd be just I'd be okay discarding it now, I guess. The truth is in here. It's a pretty big card. I do just lose the brawl, but these things happen. I don't lose the brawl. It's kind of bad. In the case of. Hmm, sweet draws. This is a nice clear. Looks like I have to toss the possessed villager, but and I'll take action. I'll do four damage to face, I guess. This dark shy librarians did a nice job refueling. Oh man, am I gonna lose to a card as slow as Gorehow? Well, we'll find out. Just need Soul Fire. It's only good for one turn, though. Not necessarily, since this might do two damage to him. I get like one more chance to draw the four damage. So I don't feel like I deserve this, but praise Disco. Maybe a lot of it has to do with drawing Malchazars. I don't know. We got there. That's the only important part. Our librarian concerns me a little bit. Like, is it actually good? The only synergy... Well, there's two synergies. I just haven't drawn Malkazar's Imp yet, that's why. I think I don't keep it if I don't have Malkazar's Imp or the, uh... Or the Silverware in my hand. I was about to call Silverware... I was about to nickname Silverware Golem, but... The Silverware is fine. Nice little zoo hand here. Happy little zoo. Alright, oh, that's also one difference from this deck from Zoo. There's no Mortal Coils. I mean, Mortal Coil wasn't that standard in Zoo, which is why I'd overlooked it for a moment. Uh, speaking of which, do I grab the Mortal Coil here? I think there's going to be a few targets to hit soon. I'll take the always decent card instead. Uh, you might notice that I've played two games of this deck so far, but we might not have shown two games. I think a... Yeah, and that last game is kind of shameful for me as well, to some extent. I don't feel great about it. I feel like I might not have been winning that much just because I haven't drawn Nakazar's Imp. This is probably the power card in this deck. It reminds me of when I was playing Magic the Gathering. Uh, probably my the most amount of tournament success I ever had in like actual real life tournaments, which meant not playing Magic Online was with the Psychotog deck. My favorite card of all time was Compulsion, which is an enchantment where you can discard cards to draw cards. It's surprisingly powerful. It's a good card. It's in the final wing of Karazhan, and I went to pack shortly after, so I didn't get much testing with this uh, card. Hey, I, I wanna. I want a small scholarship in the college by playing the Psychotog deck. I'm 
Uh, complete scrub do. Scrub do do. But having the zoo core and then just having the ability to play a one mana draw two cards, which is still one mana one three draw two cards, that's pretty good. I played in the, uh, what is it called? JSS, Junior Super Series. That's what got me into the entire. Uh, gave me an edge up on the Hearthstone. My experience with collectible card games. Whenever you discard a card, draw a card. So the unfortunate thing... Oh! Look at that valley right there. Goodbye, possessed villager. Imagine the value if that possessed villager were a uh, silverware golem. And even worse, druids don't really have a way to remove this Melkazar's imp. In an elegant fashion. Unless he's about to praise Yogg. No, paint him more. Come on, give me a Doom Guard. That'd be pretty good. I'll find it. She didn't find it. It's that uh, love for Psychotog and control decks from Magic the Gathering which lead me to still like Reno Lock as my favorite deck. And Reno in a lot of decks really, because if you're running a Reno deck you are pretty much running a control deck. I like big swings, big effects. Which is the Timmy in me, I suppose, for magic terms. Alright, give me that Doom Guard. I draw four cards, create a 4 3 3. <sighs> Put this apple on your head. Get it out! Get it out! Wow. The absolute amount of Doom Garden value here is abs is through the charts. Five seven three three draw four cards. This card defender of Argus. Pay attention, class. I am ready to learn. I am ready to learn. Hmm. Ooh, that's solid enough. That's a big effect. I think I'm gonna end up not killing that 8 8. So many I would also rather not taunt a Malkazar's Imp. But unfortunately, due to positioning, I will taunt a Malkazar's Imp. <laughs> Doom Guard. Discard two random cards, draw six cards. The land serves me. Unfortunately, I lost one of those imps. Could have actually saved the imp by trading differently. Three, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You are not the boss of me. Deal. 
not even sure if this is the best play since I'm discarding two pretty good cards, but I think for a card, this is pretty good. I'm just draw two cards again. Okay, maybe this deck actually has something to it. Get my other Doom Guard. Okay, that might be a little too much. Oh man, that's pretty good too. The truth is out there. Five, six, eight, ten. Okay, we need to lose two guys first, so one, four, nine, ten. Three, eight, ten. Am I going to have enough space to play the Darkshire Librarian? Hmm, what if I do it with... Oh, actually, playing the Darkshire Librarian requires two spaces. I guess I can afford to not draw everything. Probably because drawing everything might be bad. Definitely a surprising amount of card draw uh, from the disco luck. Well played. Oh, praise God! Okay, so I have three ambushes and a defender of Argus. I'm gonna draw all the cards. Well, hopefully I don't draw all the cards actually. Ideally I would only draw one defender of Argus. Oh boy. The end of days is finally upon you. That's pretty bad. I can't say that I played that game perfectly. I was having too much fun drawing like 10 cards. But still. At least that game showed me the power of Malkazar's Imp. It's really, really good. Turn 
Turn one imp coin soul fire. Don't think I need to go that extreme. You can just go uh, sergeant and soul fire next turn. It's a great thing about uh, Melgazar's imp too. It's a good standalone card. Even if it's just a 1-3, it's doing fine. Nothing good enough to sell fire here. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Do I at least get to do this? And I guess this is the best card to play with it, so I want to play this card first. So I wonder if this is a Zoolock Paladin deck. Or maybe it's an actual Murloc Paladin. That's pretty insane. Nothing scares me. Except the mice. Pedal into Melchizar's imp so badly, right? Oh! Okay, actually, that one's probably better. Back to your homes. Control the board, right? Yeah, I have a lot of damage. Nothing scares me. Except, Except mice. Glory to the Sindora. Do I have lethal. Five, eight, eleven. 15, 17, no. I think I should clear the Divine Shield. Unless I want to push uh, a lot of damage to the face. I'll do that. It's too much damage to be using on one health minion. The light protects me. Wow, this guy has a lot of weird cards. This has the potential to be a really good hand. Well, no, it doesn't. It has the potential to... Eh, we'll see. That's one deck I haven't tried out yet. Also, Possessed Villager. I mean, Spirit Claws. Shaman. I already know it's good, though. Fun fact for those not in the loop. Tunnel Drog is starting to be cut from these uh, Shaman decks because Spirit Claws is better. Is that really fun to know? I'm not sure. Get in there and fight! Ah, 
Well, what I do know is a Doom Guard would be a really good draw. I'd probably want to wait until I had six mana, and then I play Imp in the Doom Guard. Wow, that would be amazing. The light protects. That would be six mana, five seven one three 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 three. So you have that all together: five, eight, eleven, twelve. 7, 10, 13, 16. So 12, 16, draw 2 cards. A delightfully hipster. I think I'm gonna play the Melkazar's Imp because it's good curve. Three, four, five, six. Probably has more to worry about than a Melkazar's Imp right now. enough getting like that value. <laughs> well, wait, no, that actually wouldn't solve anything. Everything is good. Did you bring some fish? Those lightning storms are so good. For Kazmodan, your soul shall be mine. Keep the curve. Possessed Villager actually should have uh, ended up on the right side. I was uh, thinking when I played the Dark Peddler, uh, I should have put the Dark Peddler on the left. Because the Imp Gang Boss goes on the left, and then that means I have a guy with a death right on the middle. Uh, it looks like this has solved itself, though. Two targets, I'll play Defender.
Nagazar Zimp, Soulfire. Direwolf Alpha. Slightly better here. I think I saved the Imp for combo combo. That's an interesting thing about Malkazar's Imp, too. Um, it allows for you to actually have a bit more thinking into your plays, because it's not obvious. And stacking the two Malkazar Zimps is even better. It's almost, uh, it makes this deck a little more combo-y. Just a tiny bit. You always wanted to play around Brawl by making sure you didn't have that much on the board anyways. I'm a little inclined not to go Juggler Argus. But I also want to make sure to give him some amount of pressure. His battle rage means I need to give him a bit of pressure then. He's probably playing Patron, right? There's also a such thing as having too many cards in this matchup. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-two. I'm sad that I have the win here. Because it means I miss out on so much value. Uh, whatever. My conclusion with this deck is I think it's actually very good. Uh, it is only a few cards different from normal zoo, but no, it's actually more than a few cards. It's like five to ten cards different. This is a deck that is competitive versus normal zoo. Like it's hard to say. It was easy to say whether normal zoo or the. It was easy to say normal zoo was better than bad disco luck, but I can feel the power of Malkazar's empty here. I mean, it's small sample size, but you can get a feel for how good a deck is by playing it, even if you go 3-3. Three and three. Like, one of my losses, I had a very bad draw, and then I got Lightning Storm twice with the spell damage out, and I got Yogged, and I can't remember the third one. Like, every single one of the losses, I felt like I had done something very strong, but the opponent just had something stronger. 